Hi everybody, it's Miss Atkinson here. It's so lovely to say hello to you all. We're missing you so much here at school, but it's important that you're staying home and keeping safe at this time. You're going to be doing your work through Purple Mash whilst we're not at school. And I'm going to do this video to show you how to access your work and importantly, how to save the things that you have been doing. So I've made a pretend child to help me do this. And you can see this is the home page. And we've got five icons here at the top of the home page. This purple icon shows me that my teacher has alerted me to nine new things to do in my to do folder. And I can get to those activities through the alert bell or I can go to the red to do folder. So whilst we're off school, the to do folder and the work folder are the two places where you will find the work that the teacher has set. So if I go into my to do folder, you can see I've got lots of things that my teacher has set me to do. Now, if you see this sound or volume icon, that means that the teacher has recorded a message for you to listen to. And if you click on it, it will play the message. Now, I know that I haven't had a go at this yet because it doesn't say continue work or it might be a game that I can play over and over again and it will just say start if that's the case. So when I go on here and I press start I can see immediately that this is a game and not a piece of work to save and that's because I don't have a menu bar up here so this is just a game and I can follow the instructions on the screen to play the game and when I finished, I can just go and use a little back arrow to go back to my to do's. Now, you see there wasn't any option to save that. That's because it's just a game to play. There will be other things that my teacher wants me to do that aren't games. So let's have a look at this activity around using or not using the word. There might be a video at the beginning. And then I have to complete the work and there are some things at the side to help me some prompts. Now, once I've finished my work, I have to go over here and I have to save it. Now, it will tell you it's saved as your name and then you can close. Well, I've already saved it, so I'm going to exit. And you can see that the message on this piece of work has changed now. It says, do I want to continue it or do I want to hand it in? Now, if I had actually finished it, I would want to hand it in to my teacher and I can leave a note. I liked this and I might say thumbs up, smiley face, little star and I can save it and press OK. Or I can record a voice message and leave a voice message for my teacher and press OK. Now you can see it's disappeared from the top of the screen now and if I scroll down, We'll find it down here. So anything that's green is work that I have already done. And you can see I've left messages for my teacher. So they're finished bits of work for my teacher to look at. Remember, some of these won't go green because they're games that you can play again and again. So I've checked my to do's and I've finished all the ones that I can finish. I now need to check my work folder. So the yellow work folder will look like this. Now I've already got some work that I have done. So they appear in my work folder and I am the only one that can see that apart from my teacher. To find the work that your teacher has set you, you need to go to the little black arrow here and it looks like it's empty, but you must click on the class and we can see we have some work to do. Now the work set in here, you can't hand it in. This is for work to, for you to do at home so your teacher knows that you've covered the curriculum that they want you to cover. Now, don't worry if you haven't got a printer. You can still click on these documents and open them either on your phone or on a tablet or on a laptop like I'm doing now. And you can have a go at doing the activity just on the screen. So this is a matching activity to at match the sentence to the description. So the boy was hungry, and the description would be white faced, his stomach rumbled as if a volcano was about to erupt. So I can just do that verbally on my own or I can talk to an adult about it at home. And when I finished, I can just close the document. You don't need to save it and you don't need to print it off. Let's go back to Purple Mash. So once I've had a go at all the work in this work folder, 
I might think, oh, well, I've done all my to do's. I've done all my work that my teacher set, but I want a little bit more to do. Well, you can explore anything here on the home page. You can look at all the curriculum links down here. And if you do that, you'll have the option to save your work. So you saw that I had some work in my work folder. So if I have a look at this piece of work on Anglo-Saxons, it's saying I need to write about their, their gods. So I might go away and do some research and then tell my teacher what I know about it. And I can then save that. Now, it's really important that you save it in my work, not in your class folder, because if you save it in your class folder, everybody will be able to see it. And then your class folder will be full of everybody else's work. You need to save it in my work. You need to give it a name. So I might call it beliefs and I'll save it. And it tells me that it's saved. That it takes a little bit of time to load that into your work folder but eventually when I go to my work oh there it is you can see it's been saved and my teacher will be able to see that that is in my work folder please don't save it in the class folder because otherwise this will get really full of everybody's work back to the home page so there are lots of things that I can do serial mash is a great place to find new books that you may not have read so they're organised by age. Let's have a look what there is for age seven to nine. Look at all those books that you can access. Your teacher might set you some to read with questions to answer. But if you want to read any of the other ones, just click on them and you'll be able to read them online. Back to the home page. Down this right hand side, this is updated every week by Purple Mash and they're putting on weekly activities for you to access. And they are again organised by age. So the 9 to 11 one, we're in week three of school closures and it's Monday. So I might want to have a go at some of those pieces of work or quizzes. And again, if I want to save it, I save it in my work so the teacher can see what I've done. Also, there's lots of things that you can send in. So you could send in pictures of your rainbows like other children have. There's tips on how to stay, stay healthy. And also, Purple Mash will, will update you with any national months or weeks that you can get um, excited about and that you can join in with. And down here at the bottom, there's also a parent blog for parents to have a look at. Have an explore. This is something brand new to us here at Bourne Westfield and there's always lots and lots for you to do. But remember, the first two places to go are your to do folder and your work folder, remembering to actually click on the class name to see the work that has been set for you. And one last thing, remember to always save your work in my work, not in your class folder. Stay safe, everybody, and I'll see you soon. Hi, everybody. I did just forget to mention one thing in my previous video, and that's when, if you go into your work folder, and you have a group folder here that means that your teacher has set you some work just for a group that you might be in and if you click on there you can actually go and see work that is set just for you okay so make sure you're checking your class folder and your group folder thank you